Hey guys, what's up? It's Uncle Zonky, and welcome to episode 3 of Road to All Dry Gores from the Caliphate King. So, I was not expecting to have another episode out already. It's only been a couple days since the last one. However, some progress has been made, of course. Uh, I'm not planning on uploading episodes without a dry gore drop, so if we go dry for a long time, there just won't be an episode for a long time. That is also a strong possibility, but luckily, last night we managed to luck out and make some progress on the series. So one thing I wanted to mention is last night was possibly one of the most frustrating nights of Cal Fight King I've ever had. If not the most. Just because there's a lot of deaths, there was a lot of lag. Uh, me and the Voker that we were going with both disconnected several times. And uh, yeah, we failed a lot of kills. But we were rewarded for our frustration with some pretty good lootations. So I'll show you guys some clips of those now. So last night we got not only one, but actually two drops. The first drop was, uh, well actually I showed the second drop first, and the second, the first drop second for some reason, but yeah, this drop was an offhand longsword, so that was our first dupe clip, we've already had an offhand longsword, um, so it doesn't help the series, but it was a free 20 mil split, so I'm not going to argue with that, and um, here is me actually later just getting a kill, because I didn't get a whole lot of drops actually to me, uh, but luckily the guy in Malevolent and Dragors, uh, deep like I actually disconnected quite a few times so every single time I got the kill is usually because of him disconnecting and um, pretty much everyone that went disconnected because we had the DPS who also had ascensions he dis disconnected several times our Voker who was in Malevolent and Dragors he disconnected a couple times I disconnected a couple times and then here is the drop to me the offhand mace so obviously this is the cheapest KK item. It was only a 13 mil split. However, it was helpful to the series because we had not had this one yet. So I was pretty happy to get this one. Um, so now we only have uh, one more offhand and two more main hands to get. And I've also made a handy little chart to kind of track all of this. And this is just me showing what the offhand may sold for. Um, while being very careful not to reveal the rest of my GE to you guys. Uh, but yeah, I made a handy little chart. So hopefully that will um, be beneficial towards the series and look pretty cool. Alright, so this is a little something I whipped up in like 15 minutes last night that I like to call the Dragor Log. So this is going to just keep track of all the Dragors we got. So of course the main hands are on the top and the off hands are on the bottom. So we have had three off hands and one main hand. Uh, three down, three to go. First duplicate already. Obviously it is going to take longer to get the second three than it took to get the first three for one because we've get, been getting pretty darn lucky. Um, we've had four drops and 70 kills that is not going to continue so we're about double the drop rate right now um, I don't imagine that to continue for very long and also we are bound to get at least a couple more duplicates before we get the rest of the items uh, I've heard of people getting like 20 to 30 dry gores before they get actually all six I really hope that doesn't happen to me but uh, hey if it does you know that's quite a bit of profit to be made We'll just see how it goes, and this is also helping out the Slayer tab because um, not all of the KK kills, but almost all of them were done while I was on task, so I am counting it towards the Slayer tab as well. So if you watch the Road to One Bill Slayer tab, this helps that series out quite a bit as well, which is always nice. And finally, that we are at the moment that you guys have all been waiting for, showing the tab itself. So unfortunately, last night we didn't get a whole lot of... Uh, I guess decent regular drops, so no Onyx Bolts, no Black Dragon Hide. Um, we did get some Magic Seeds, like no Rune Bars. It was mostly just, uh, if we didn't get a drop, it was almost all Sharks. Almost every single drop that we got last night was Sharks. Um, and a couple of Herbs and a lot of Snapdragon Seeds, which, which aren't worth a whole lot. Um, but regardless, that cash pile has grown quite a bit, so we're up to 84.5 mil now. Um, and also, we should be pretty darn close to 100 mil for the series, all in told. So that's 89 mil altogether, and these damage chitin are worth like 4k each, so that's like another, uh, I don't know. But anyway, we're about 90 mil, a little bit over 90 mil in total. Um, so that's some pretty darn good progress. Of course, 90 mil and 70 cow fight king kills, mostly trio, a couple duo, isn't something that you can really expect most of the time. However, I'm really hoping some of this luck continues because uh, I'm not really the most motivated PVMer, and there are some people who live for PVM and can do it all day, every day. I'm not one of those people, so I do enjoy it from time to time, but PVM isn't like my favorite thing in the world. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to get through this series. If I go super dry, it takes like a thousand Calfight King kills. I can't really promise you that it'll be completed, but as long as 
something like that does not happen, um, I feel like I can complete this series and make a large profit from doing so. So, anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, it's time for me to head back from, to Slayer, and the next Road to One Bill Slayer tab will come when I'm at 50 million Slayer XP. So I'm a little bit over 2 million Slayer XP to go. So that should take a couple days, but I'll try to get that as fast as possible. Um, because that is the primary series for me to work on at the moment. So, regardless, thank you for watching, and farewell.